Siema, I'm Piotr. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a bigos. A few days ago I made a video how to do the sour cabbage. So this is my sour cabbage. Um, I already tasted it. It's sour but could be, could be maybe two days longer but I don't really have a time because uh, I want my bigos. And few information. The way how I'm gonna do the bigos is the easiest way. So for those who's watching from Poland I'm using the ingredients that I can find in the shop, which is Malaysia. Trust me, it's really healthy to find something like a Polish uh, <coughs> Polish products to do the bigos. So I'm using that what I have. Second thing is what what I'm using to do the bigos actually is sour cabbage, is a meat, mushrooms, and uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste. Try to buy the original one without any any, any flavors. And I'm gonna add some uh, add some fresh cabbage. And now, few information about the meat. To those who uh, can eat pork, use pork. If you can't eat pork because your religion, uh, you can only eat beef. Then use the beef. If you can eat both, which is pork and beef, you can eat both of them. It's totally up to you. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you that I have uh, I have uh, sausage in the fridge. Okay, this is the this is the sausage, sausage that I forget to take it out from the fridge. Uh, if you want to use the sausage, you can use the sausage. Just buy the good quality because uh, uh, yeah, it's quite important. Okay, so how we doing the? Oh, another important thing is I'm gonna cook it in the pressure cooker, which means for me it's gonna take half hour to forty minutes to do the bigos to make it all cabbage, all meat soft. So it's depend what you have at home. If you have a pressure cooker, good for you because it's not gonna take long time to to cook the bigos and basically you just set it up and it's done. If you're gonna boil in normal pot, it's gonna take few hours because till the cabbage gonna get soft, till the meat gonna get soft, uh, it's gonna take some time. So basically, normally, uh, normally we cooking the bigos for a few hours. So even not even few hours because the best bigos it's for another day i mean you have to cook it one day then the best uh, the taste of it because it's on the on the second day so if you're gonna do like me which is if you have the pressure cooker you just put everything inside inside the pot inside the pot and then uh, just cook all together uh, if you're gonna use the normal pot and you're gonna use the stove for example just first start to boil the cabbage then slowly when you're gonna notice that uh, cabbage is getting soft then slowly add some uh, ingredients another thing that you can do but it's totally up to you some of us before we start to cook bigos I mean before when we're cooking the bigos we add fresh cabbage and then we mix with a, with a, with a sour cabbage so it's totally up to you you can use only sour cabbage or you can use the you can use the fresh cabbage so it's up to you okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna mix everything inside put everything inside i'm gonna show you how it looks like at the end about the quantity or how much you should use actually it's up to you uh i have put it's this pot is quite big so i put here like a half half kg maybe of a, a fresh cabbage well this is the half kg of a fresh cabbage uh, don't worry if it looks full because we're not gonna fill it up with a lot of the water so it's okay about the meat i have some around i don't remember some some around 800 grams isn't it yeah yeah so normally i'm just gonna chunk everything in the pot it's okay don't worry that it looks full but it's not full mushrooms uh buy the good quality mushrooms if you can uh because the mushrooms uh with the mushrooms is a problem we should buy the dry mushrooms to use for it because but actually we don't have here in Malaysia it's really I, I never see in the shop so I'm using like this I'm adding everything because like I said I'm uh, put everything I'm gonna put everything into the pressure cooker if you're gonna cook on the stove in the pot add it at the end add it at the end because they're gonna get uh, well they can disappear in, <laughs> if you're gonna cook them uh, too long okay so this is uh, how it looks like and the last thing what I'm gonna add on top, uh, well not the last thing, but I'm gonna now add some uh, sour cabbage and now there is a one thing that you can try to do by yourselves because bigos actually is depend where you come from from the Poland people do it in a different ways 
Uh, this is the easiest way that I'm showing you right now. If you can find in the shop, some people are adding the plumes, but you need to find the dry plumes. And you can add a little bit of a wine if you want. So the variety of doing it because there is a lots of uh, ways how you can do. I'm just showing you the easiest way to how to do and what you can uh, like get in the from the shop in Malaysia. If you will have a juice, yeah, pull it. You can easily put in the to the to the pot. It's it's okay. So I'm gonna use like a half of a jar, maybe maybe a little bit more. I will see so far it looks quite full but it's okay I'm gonna use more than half cup Ooh, the smell yeah sour smell so this is how it looks like and I think it's okay it's a, oh, maybe a little bit more the more the more sour yeah yeah exactly the more the more you're gonna put, the more sour is gonna be the uh, the bigos. Okay, I'm gonna put some more than half of a jar only because I put some fresh cabbage. So if we're gonna eat, eat today a little bit uh, of a bigos at the evening later, then tomorrow when I'm gonna cook again the bigos, I'm gonna add the rest of the uh, sour cabbage to my uh, to my pot. Okay, so this is how it looks like, and at the end, what you can do. You just open the tomato paste or sauce. Puree. This is quite thick, but it's okay. And just put everything. That's how I'm doing it. The easier okay. way. Yeah, because it's pressure cooker, so it's quite easy to do. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe one more and. That's it. Isn't it? Okay, that should be enough. And um, I'm basically I'm not doing anything with it, I'm just gonna put it on the to the pot. Uh, and that's it. Oh, by the way, the sausage that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add to the end because... I'm okay, so this is how it looks like the, the, the final, <laughs> maybe not the product, but the final version. Uh, and this is how I'm gonna put to the pressure cooker because the pressure cooker will do all the job for me. If you're gonna cook in the stove, in the pot, just slowly add all the ingredients that I show you on the beginning of this video and cook it for a few hours. Okay, the next ne next thing that I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be when I will finish cooking this and let, we will see what's the result and how it looks like. Okay, so uh, let's cook. Okay, so my because is ready. I show you before uh, the sausage. I'm gonna add it at the end because if I'm gonna put it, if I will put it straight away to this pot, uh, the sausage will get soggy, soggy and it will be not good. So yeah, my because is ready. So let's release the air. Yeah. Oh, this is how it looks like. Okay, so uh, I need to release the air. Then I'm gonna open it and show you how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks like when it's cooked. It's cooked like a half hour already, so it's quite uh, looks quite good. I already tasted, and if. Uh, if you have a question about the sorry, I need to close it. But if you have a question about the seasoning, what I'm using is basically a little bit more salt and the black pepper, and basically that's it. Now I'm gonna add some sausage that I still have, and I'm gonna boil it maybe for the next 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it's gonna be ready to to. Eat. Okay, so this is how it looks like the biggest when it's cooked. This is how it's supposed to looks like. Meat is quite soft. Sausage is quite okay mushroom didn't disappear so and how you eat in basically we in poland eat in with a bread actually this is bread made by me so maybe in the future i will do the video how to bake the bread but anyway <laughs> we eat in with a bread i know that some of you probably will want to eat with a rice or something like this you can try how eat it however you want so yeah i'm gonna eat so thank you for watching if you like this video leave the like and if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel uh, for more videos and that's it, thank you for watching, have a good day, bye bye.